<laughs> Shut up. It's like Costco. Anyways, what up, YouTube? CJ from Retro Hungry here. Uh, today I got my girlfriend. <laughs> She's laughing at me because she never sees me uh, recording myself. But uh, her name is Berlin. Say hi. Hello. And she's joining me today. We're gonna go thrifting. It's Monday. All right. Enjoy. <laughs> All right. We're here at Team Avits. First stop of the day. Look at that butt. Nice. <laughs> All right. So we didn't find anything. On to the next one. Deuces. <laughs> yep. We're here at Savers now. Hopefully we strike it rich. Right. <laughs> all right all right well i found a snapback by new era <laughs> it's a uh, three bucks some nike sbs for nine bucks all right about to go check out all right we just got done with the uh savers and i picked up this king's <laughs> Los Angeles Kings uh, New Era Snapback. It's not it's not a retro one or anything. It's, uh, it's like one of those modern ones for three bucks. And then I picked up these SBs. Some Nike Janoskis. I think that's how you say it. Size ten and a half for nine bucks. So yeah, not not that bad, huh, huh babe? No. Not that bad at all. <laughs> so we're headed to uh, Buffalo Exchange. Maybe Goodwill too. <laughs> All right, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, it's Tuesday. Walking to my favorite Goodwill, aka my nearby Goodwill, where I find a lot of good stuff sometimes. So yeah, I got this uh, Doctor Doom shirt that I got at Buffalo Exchange. Pretty cool. Found a stack of PS One games. Nothing really good though. And they're all $5.99. Uh, that's what I hate about this thrift store. If it wasn't greatest hits, I would pick it up. Alright. So I'm gonna pick up, don't judge me, these two CDs. I think Rihanna's fucking hot. CDs are Timberlake, fucking dope. Those are like two bucks a piece. I found this Radio Shack 12 computerized arcade. It's $3.99, but the compartment is super corroded. Or it doesn't look too bad, but I'm gonna see if I can lower it because of the corrosion. And that's $3.99. Found this dope. Wisconsin Badgers Shark Tooth Jacket by Logo Athletic. Ten bucks, but I don't know if I want to spend that much on it. And this vintage Wild Oats Kermit the Frog t-shirt. I'll see. And that's like two bucks as well. I'll let you guys know what I pick up at the end. Alright guys, so I ended up picking up the uh, Rihanna CD. Dude. Check this out. Look how fucking hot she is. Anyways, and that Justified CD. Um, also picked up the Wisconsin Badgers logo athletic jacket. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to resell it. It's, it's a large, so it won't fit me. Um, probably get 30 to $40 for it. It's, pretty, it's in pristine condition. As well as this vintage Wild Oats, what is that, Made in USA, baby, um, Kermit the Frog tee. I don't know, I saw a whole bunch of vintage Wild Oats tees, bands, characters. They go for a pretty high price, but I didn't see any, I didn't check the completed listings, I just saw the listed uh, auctions, but I don't know, I'll take a gamble on it. Anyways, guys, I think that's it for today. I actually went to Savers with my dad earlier i'll actually show you what i picked up when i get back to the house all right peace all right some cool stuff i picked up at savers today for buck 99 i picked up die sentry art or <laughs> what is this die Senryaku. 
I have no idea, but it was a dollar ninety nine. Thought it was cool, and I picked up Naruto Clash of Ninja for the GameCube for dollar ninety nine. This is like the first time I've ever seen dollar ninety nine games at the Savers I go to, so not bad. And I also picked up this Game Gear lot. Um, it was originally marked at fourteen ninety nine, and then I had tested it out. It had batteries in it. The Game Gear, let me open this up real quick for you guys. In the meantime, I also picked up this Eagles, this Vintage Eagles Hell Freezes Over from 1993 t-shirt. It's pretty faded, but it's vintage. I like it. I like these vintage concert um, shirts. Came with five games. Nothing special. We got football. Chess Master, Sonic the Hedgehog, of course, Clutch Hitter, and there's a game inside of here. I think it's G Lock or something. Yeah. Now, the Game Boy, I don't know if anyone knows how to fix this. It's, oh. You know what? I don't know. It might work. But at the time I tested it, the screen wasn't turning on. It's really, really clean. That's what I like. That's why I picked it up. Came with the Game Gear case, of course. Sega brand. So, I'll try and see what's wrong with it. Maybe nothing's up wrong with it. And I got it for <laughs> half off. Oh well, that's what I picked up today. We'll see what's good tomorrow. Peace! Alright, I'm at the Goodwill in Huntington Beach. One of the favorite spots of mine. But it's just too far for me to drive. But I got a full tank, yeah, so let's see what they got today. PS1 bundle. PS1 has like two controllers, memory card. Rusted out, I guess. A Sechi Wear Fighting Stick. Some crappy games for $19.99. Just wanted to show you. I'm not gonna get it. I'll show you the games, I guess. Jam pack, BMX racing, Sonic CD, some other crap, crappy games. Yeah, I'll pass. All right, so at the Huntington Beach Goodwill, I picked up a couple PS1 games. We got Qbert for 99 cents. They're all complete, and uh, Muppet Race Mania. This one didn't have a tag, but he charged it for 99 cents as well. Um, I think this is somewhat of a valuable game. I checked it up. It was like 10 bucks, 20 bucks. 10 to 20, I, I guess. We also got Monsters Inc. Inc. Scream Team. Uh, blue tag was half off. And my favorite find of today, so far, is the uh, NERD In Search of CD. It's crazy because I was just watching some live footage of them last night. <laughs> Uh, and I was just thinking to myself, I need to complete their uh, CD collection, and here it is. I got their first CD uh, in search of, so pretty happy about this for $1.99. The reason I didn't uh, record me finding them is because there was a whole CD rack full of, like a rack full of CDs. I mean, there was like a ton of them, and it was up at the front desk, and no one was in line to distract the reg the uh, clerks at the register so it just felt awkward recording up there anyways it doesn't really matter because we're here got him peace all right so i just came out of this mom and pop um picked up gorillas 50 cents not bad here at the anaheim goodwill hopefully i find something because i never find something here pretty glad i stopped by this goodwill picked up this starter 1998 Chicago Bulls Champions t-shirt dude it, it's seriously hard to find shirts like these around my area now it's like once in a blue moon I love I love the uh, Michael Jordan Bulls era my dad loves them too this is his favorite team probably still is it's a size large I'll probably give it to him and he'll probably like it, it shows a uh, 
all the the wins they got through the years, the championships they got. So, not bad for two bucks. So I kind of went a little crazy at the last thrift store. Started off with this. I got the uh, Metal Gear Solid The Essential Collection for $4.98. I'm not going to tell you guys what thrift store this was just because it was so good and the prices there were so awesome. Well, if I mean if you see the tag, you might know where it's at, but I don't really care. I got a genuine a starter, KC Royals, Kansas City baby, nice little vintage one. You got this starter, this vintage starter, Mighty Ducks. Check this out. That's sick. It's a large starter. Starter little patch right there. Nothing on the back, but I like it. Just needs a little washing. It's a size large though. Um, Non-sports related. It's a vintage Disneyland made in USA cardigan. I think this was used for like the work the workers there. I'm not sure what what year, but I picked it up. It's my size, 4.98. Well, it's a size XL. But it fits like a medium, so I like that. I'll save the best phone for last. It's a ducks item. Also picked up this. Sorry about the camera work. It's hard to work with one hand. It's a polo sport. Nice. Polo by Ralph Lauren. Not sure if it's vintage. It looks like it. I like the colorways. I mean, I just bought this honestly to resell it's such a dope jacket it says cold wave yeah and that was 498 stupid uh, the cardigan was 498 the ducks jacket was 898 and best for last of course I mean, Mike Gardner, I know you're a Rangers fan, but this is a sick ass jersey. Ducks. It's a Nike one team. It's a replica. Size XL. Brand new. It was $39.98. Retail $75, but I don't know. It's such a patchwork up here such a sick ass jersey I couldn't pass it up Mighty Ducks Vanheim another patch right here yep that's about it guys I also pick up the, the Bulls jersey I mean the Bulls shirt Metal Gear a couple of a couple of games a couple of CDs and an Arizona iced tea good day all right anyways guys uh so I just checked uh, eBay to see how much this jacket go goes for. Fortunately, it's the um, it's from Korea, but still, it's a polo sport, cold wave, and the American one didn't even reach the reserve twice. First, it uh, didn't reach the reserve for 285, and then it didn't reach the reserve for 510. So I'm not sure how much this one's worth. It's a little different than the uh, American one. It's a size XL or large to XL in a uh, Korean or Korea, sorry. Uh, but I got it for five bucks, guys. Hopefully, I can sell this for a pretty penny, so I can get some money for some video game hunting this weekend. Anyways, that concludes my thrifting weekly. I won't be going out Thursday or fr and I never go out Fridays because um, I like to save money before Saturday but unfortunately this Friday I'm going to an estate sale um, that advertised the Sega 32X and some other games I hopefully hopefully that it, it's promising you know anyways thanks for guys thank you guys for watching this episode of Thrifting Weekly hope you guys enjoyed it peace oh and um if you guys want you could subscribe you know leave some comments below by the way I, li I like responding to them and 
I'm out.